before we get into the session, there is a note to the attendees. Attendees, you will also have an opportunity to interact with the speaker and get answers to all your questions. You can also post your questions in the Q&A or else in the chat box or else you can raise your hand so that I will allow you to speak. Without any further delay, let's dive into the virtual sea of knowledge and exploration. Greeting and a warm welcome to everyone joining us from the variance concerns of the digital realm. Today, we are going to discuss about the topic opportunities for medical doctors to enhance their cardiology career in India and abroad. So I'm glad to introduce the speaker of the day, Ms. Raja Rajeshwari, team lead in TIU. So over to you, Raji. Good evening, doctors. Uh, so uh, I think Kalai, whether I am audible? Yes, you are audible and your screen is visible. Visible. Okay, fine. Thank you. Uh, so like uh, myself, Rajeshwari, and today, uh, like I'm going to take the webinar for opportunity for an MBBS doctor specifically to enhance your career in cardiology how you how the career will be in India and abroad. So we are going to see like uh, if you become a cardiologist, how your life will be there and how the scope of the your career will be all over the country. Okay, so we are going to have a mutual communications and doctors like if you have any queries in between, you can just give a chat. Definitely, I will uh, update you and I'll give you, I'll clarify all of your queries. And meanwhile, uh, thanks doctors for uh, coming to my webinar. So I can think like I can see like uh, the doctors who have visited for this uh, webinar. I want to know like what is your qualifications like uh, like most of the doctors are MBBS or have you done your MD like of PG speciality? See, we just uh, give me a chat that what is your qualification so that will be uh, really good for us so that we can have interactive MBBS. Okay, thank you, doctor. So, uh, so I think your qualification is MBBS. So here I will uh, we'll go to the webinar session right now. Okay, so here like we can see doctor. Uh, so first I want to let you know what is cardiology. Okay, because like here we are going to uh, discuss completely about the cardiology speciality only, how the growth and how the career will be in this field. So like uh, the cardiology when you see it is like focusing on diagnosing and completely treating the heart related diseases and a cardiologist is like they play a very crucial role in identifying, diagnosing and treating the diverse cardiac conditions such as a coronary heart rate disease, heart attack, heart rhythm disorders, infections and many more. And uh, so right now like every doctors know in the country, uh, so the cardiology doctors are very, very minimum and the cardiac patient in all the states and all the countries got increased and we don't have that much cardiology doctors to treat the patient. And due to the aging of the population, the cardiovascular disease got increased. And as you know, right now in our country, uh, state-wise, the people's lifestyle completely changed. The food habit or uh, food habit things or uh, the, the related of their lifestyles is completely being changed. So that what has been happening is like there is lots of diseases coming to the people's and it's really leading to the mainly heart-related issues only most of the people's we can see in the real world. So Indian experts reports, they say very clearly a 58, 55 seats in cardiology is only available and one or four seats in cardiovascular thoracic surgeries are empty out of 1,900 seats in super speciality program specifically for cardiology. Okay, so as you know, doctor, there's a different types of cardiology techniques. In that when you see, we have is the electrocardiography, echocardiography, blood pressure monitoring and stress test, cardiac catheterization, coronary angiography and angioplasty, and nuclear cardiology. So there are different types of cardiology techniques. So when you come up with the electrocardiography, so what will be the, because these are the very, very important cardiology techniques whenever you go to the hospitals and whenever like you are to be posted under the DM cardiology doctors at the time of the trainings, you will be posted in these particular departments for your hands-on experiences and all the hospitals will have updated latest technologies with them. So so that part when you see the electrocardiography it completely it's a non-invasive test that measures the electrical activity of the heart and it displays as like the graph and echocardiography is the ultrasound test that check the structure and function of your heart completely and blood pressure that everyone knows that measures your heart performances how it goes high and low level and cardiac catheterization is a procedure that allows a healthcare provider to evaluate your heart function the coronary angiography and angioplasty, the both is a medical procedure that involves with the blood 
vessels and of the heart related processing and uh, what about the nuclear cardiology is a sub specialty of the cardiology that will be used for radioactive substances and imaging techniques to evaluate and diagnose the treat the heart condition so these are the different type of the cardiology techniques and that you will be definitely utilizing in your respective hospitals when you are into this cardiology field okay so this is the main thing doctor uh, so why uh, we say cardiology is a demanding specialty we have like internal medicine surgery radiology multi level specialties there when that cases when you see cardiology the second demanding specialty in the world the reason why is like because of the one is the cardiac patient increases and cardiology doctors are very 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 minimum i will let you know the next slide why i say the cardiology is completely a demanding specialty you can see in this particular seat for cardiology specialty what will be the total colleges and the hospitals 123 so the total seats for cardiology will be 5 ten seats only in that when you see to become a cardiologist not that much easy a doctor finishing your mbbs career they will pursue your md internal medicine or chest medicine specialties based upon your neat pg examination and you want to get a neat pg in a high ranking to get into that md seat particularly then what a doctors do neat assess definitely you want to go with the neat assess with a very good score then only you can pursue your dm cardiology the super specialty for a couple of years in that when you see neat assess the starting score in all india quota itself is 318 in that when you want to have a closing neat assess score should be 197 and what will be the management quota in the deemed university is 152 the closing neat score and the starting neat score will be 280 so when you go up with the for example you cracked your neat as a and you got your cardiology seat means when the doctors are getting into the government quota tuition fees it comes like almost of 6 lakhs 4000 overall if you go with the management quota it goes up to like 29 lakhs 15000 when the doctors go the nra quota tuition fees it almost comes like 58 lakhs that is all but this is a real doctor this is a this the report which we have been taken with from my end is completely the all over the indian report so you can see like how much fees a doctor want to spend once you crack your neat assess and if your neat assess score is very low you want to pay this much of lakhs of fees after finishing your md internal medicine so this is how the dm cardiology goes on cardiologist is in demand yes really the cardiologist are really in demand okay because the reason is we are into the severe shortages in all the states because in india normally we need 88000 cardiologist doctor that is a true report 88000 doctor 88000 cardiology doctors is needed but we have only 5500 doctors so when you see the patient in a daily basis we have like a 4500 to 5000 cases is going on in a daily scenario we are seeing so for that how much doctors we need but we don't have that much doctors we have only severe shortage of doctors if a doctors we have like in a state of uh, tamil nadu karnataka and karnataka when we have one like almost a dnb and dm doctors of 25 percentage or 30 percentage of doctors means but when you see the patient ratio is coming to 80 percentage of 90 percentage that 25 percentage of doctors cannot uh, like heal with that 90 percentage of patients we need doctors many and in recent data shows that indian citizens are at the risk of being affected by the heart disease in such a situation the demand of cardiology is bound to raise so the demand for cardiology one ratio is the aging population and high level of health problem and the supply constraint in cardiology shortage of cardiology doctors and high concentration of employed cardiology the ancillary services of offering is like shift of cardiac procedure to outpatient settings and attractiveness of the cath lab pain centers and research service so here you can see like of there's a journal uh, this is a journal of the american college of uh, cardiology they are given the report clearly the cardiovascular disease remains the leading cause of mortality in the united states and the world and one america dies from a cardiovascular disease approximately every 42 seconds it's not only happening in america even in india also the same situation is occurring For every 42 seconds, you can see a cardiovascular CVD, and one people will be dying to, to due to the cardiovascular disease. And the most significant factors influencing the demand for cardiologists is the growing burden of the cardiovascular disease in the United States and all over the world also. This is a real report which we are providing. And according to the uh, like, I can show here the report. According to the Cardiology Society of India, the CSI, there are only 
5,500 cardiologists available today in the country, which is a 2024 report. Today, with a population of 1.3 billion, there is only one cardiology for a 30,000 population in the country. This is a real report. So as we know, India needs like 88,000 doctors, but we have only 5,500 cardiologist doctors. So you know that the cardiology doctors are really in the demand and there are many private corporate, not only in India, even in abroad countries. They are seeking for an experienced cardiology doctors who can handle the angio or a 2D eco or the best into the services of the newly updated latest technologies of cardiology. They are requiring and they are ready to pay a very good salary. When you compare with your MD medicine doctors or DM cardiology doctors, doctors or, uh, or any clinical cardiology doctors are earning a more salary when compared to the normal major specialty doctor. This is the average salary of a cardiologist doctor based on the locations we have brought it. In India, when you see like uh, the average salary of a doctor at the beginning of your career will be like a 5.4 lakhs per annum. But for experienced doctors, state-wise it differs. When you go south state, the salary will be different. When you go to the north side, the salary will be totally will be different. So MBBS doctors with our own like five years of experience is paid between like rupees 4 lakhs to rupees 7.5 lakhs per annum in India. Likewise, when you go with the average salary, the annual salary of a doctor's Across all the levels will be almost 9.6 lakhs. But when you come here, a clinical cardiologist doctor's salary will be definitely of like of around up to 40 lakhs. The region will be from 20 lakhs to 40 lakhs and per annum is so doctors are earning with average annual salary of 18 lakhs per annum because like we have our student itself who have completed our cardiology program with Dexila or being a clinical cardiologist and are getting like in a per annum salary itself, they're getting like per, per year basis. I've seen doctors from 28 lakhs to 32 lakhs they are earning. And this is salary of the cardiologist according to the country wise. When you go, if a doctor is like want to pose you in like in United States, your salary will be coming like of one lakh forty thousand dollars. If you go to UK, it will come around like one lakh twenty five thousand pounds. A Germany students will have a ninety thousand euros. A doctors will be earning in Dubai. It will be like a United Arab Emirates of forty nine thousand. Australia definitely of Australian dollar it's one like thirty eight thousand like this Canada so when you go with the salary in all over the country in US central when you see doctors even can earn in a crore limit also based upon their dollar currency because you will be paid a very good salary in abroad countries like this when you go and settle in US or Canada or Australia definitely you can expect a very good salary ranges in that particular country so even if you want to go for Ireland Denmark also you can definitely work there because they are seeking for many cardiology doctors experienced in most of the countries because in India also we need a cardiology doctors even in abroad countries also in most of the countries also they are seeking for the cardiology doctors and when you go for certain countries like there are certain countries even if that they require vacancies there is no need of writing an examination they can't only one examination with the interview and they make you select because the reason is like they need of the doctors with an experienced person because everyone knows when the doctors wants to settle in abroad countries they want to crack their license examinations before practicing that but when there's a demand for a specialty on when that when they need a doctors in certain countries what they do it's like specifically even they do it in like uae also they go with one examinations they sit for an interview also and if they are if they feel that candidate is suitable for them they take it on that is also has been happening for the cardiology doctors and here you can see like in 28.1 percentage of death in India due to the cardiovascular diseases and the cardiovascular diseases cases when you see that's very, very important for every doctor 4000 to 4500 cases is there. Likewise, Islamic heart diseases, 1,750 to 2,000 cases. Strokes, when you see, 475 to 550 cases has been taken. Rheumatic heart diseases, 550 to 674 cases been taken. So when it comes with all over state, you, you will be knowing how much cases will be coming. And normally, when it comes by 2025, all countries should reduce the NCDs by 25 percentage within the limit of 2025. So how to become a cardiology doctor? Like this, this is very, very important topic. So uh, here, uh, kindly please listen to this. Why uh, the previous slide which I was discussing is just I want to let you know what is the introduction I want to make you what is cardiology, what are the techniques for cardiology and how why cardiology is very demanded and what is the salary expected you can like after completion of your cardiology or when you become a cardiology what is salary you can expect in US Canada I've given you one of the brief explanation in that countries and what salary a doctor can expect as a clinical cardiologist also I have given you okay so this is where this slide is very very important so here you can see to become a cardiology how much year it takes for a doctor's 
you finish your MBBS for five years, and after that you do your MD for three years. MD internal medicine or MD radiology, whatever specialty. But if you want to choose cardiology, it is MD internal medicine. So MD internal medicine you take three years, and after that DM cardiology through NEET SS, it's again three years. So eleven years. The doctor takes eleven years to become cardiology. But there's a small correction here. In case if a doctors are not able to crack the NEET PG examination, because I've seen with multiple doctors all over the countries, they want to try with the NEET PG and they want to get started with the government medical colleges. So what happens? The doctors try for five times. I've seen the doctors trying six times, four times. A NEET again, again, again. So what is happening? MBBS you finish at the age of twenty three, or a doctor certain doctors twenty two. And after you doing a NEET PG examination, your age comes twenty six or twenty eight. After that, you do MD at the age of thirty one. And there are many doctors due to your family situations. You skip your MD and thirty three, you finish your MD medicine. Or again, you sit for NEET SS and DM. So to become a cardiology, it takes a doctor's a age limit of forty eight or forty seven. Might be doctors who's cracking the NEET PG the first attempt. Definitely, they put the cardiology even at the age of twenty nine or thirty. But if doctors are not able to crack their NEET PG examinations. You make sure at the age of 38 or 42, you are being a cardiologist. So what happens? So what happens on a yearly basis? There will be no doc, no cardiology doctors to treat the patients. Likewise, there is a DNB cardiology, another sector. MBBS doctor finish for five years. They sit for NEET PG examination. They get selected for DNB cardiology. What happens in DNB cardiology? DNB not clear status is happening. A doctors are not able to crack the for the practical examinations, and doctors they take again a three years or four years to crack the DNB examination status, and they finally finish the DNB cardiology. So almost eight years it may take, or it may take us twelve or thirteen years. So what our Texala and with our many operated hospitals in India, what we have done is like. to bring many more cardiology we have introduced a program of fellowship in clinical cardiology so what is the advantage of this is like after finishing your mbbs of your 5 years without giving any licensing examination or a neat pg examinations our texelar affiliated hospital is ready to provide you this cardiology program for a 2 years duration with a 100 percentage hands on training which will be given by the top dm cardiology or the senior consultant cardiology doctors So all the hospital which Texel is having is updated latest technologies that you can utilize with all the department like of 2D eco, pediatric cardiology, nuclear cardiology, angio. Every department you'll be exposed and you'll be having a very good hands-on training within that couple of two years. So we will make you like a cardiology when you're pursuing the two years and after completion of your two years for you the career will be really good. Okay, why there's a shortage of cardiology? Number one, less number of seat. Total DM seat is. Only five ten is available. In that, I told you all India quotas there, management quotas there. If doctors are able to pay fifty eight lakh based upon need assess, you can. Or the third one is like if doctors are not able to crack the NEET PG examination several times, and after that, once they become an MD internal medicine, I've seen many doctors they will not finish their cardiology program. The reason is they take an MD internal medicine at the age of thirty three or thirty five when they are finishing it, they want to like settle completely. they want to see their family so what happens most of the doctors are not doing cardiology and pg need qualification longer period of study low dnb passing ratio only 10 to 15 percentage the passing ratio is that this is the reason for the shortage of cardiology specifically so that as i told you earlier we brought this fellowship in clinical cardiology to address the shortage of cardiology in india not only that to make many doctors so that we can decrease the cardiovascular like uh, the patient wise because many doc many patients when you see they are dying in the daily basis only in certain time it can be that we are not able to cure the disease that might be one scenario there's another scenario even there is a due to lack of cardiology doctors the people are dying because in many of the rural areas in many of the states in many of the hospitals there is no experienced cardiology doctors that is a one scenario here what is happening so due to that only we brought this programs and we want many doctors to have a get trained in the clinical cardiology with a very good experiences so that you can treat the patient so why you choose fellowship in clinical cardiology in our university is no need pg is required hospital based teaching flexible locations and almost your fees is a return on investment only what are the fees which you are paying to our university you can get it back through the stipend because you get a that much stipend and you will have a dedicated student mentor from the texela who makes you finish your cardiology program within the 2 years duration and will make you 
to work as a cardiac specialist and faculty support from the hospital and the university will be really great because when a dm doctors or a dnb doctors when you pursue into the respective hospital what about the training you are getting it from our faculty and the same way of training you are going to get it from our doctors like one example i will let you know doctor uh, so you can see here like a uh, mini dm doctor dnb doctor they will spend more time okay they finish their md they go the go their dm cardiology and they'll have a aim right many dnp doctors they feel that i want to pursue this hospital under this faculty okay i want to get trained under him so that because that faculty will uh, provide me an all knowledge so that he will make me like a cardiology so that type of hospital that type of an hod other textular students will be getting for mbbs doctors you, you have a very good opportunity so that type of hod that type of faculty that type of dm doctors will be given to you for your hands on training so whatever the knowledge the hod of our textila like of the hod who is like working into our respective hospitals or gain they will train you every knowledge they will transfer the knowledge to you and you will get the pathway of master souls textila the hands on training in the premium hospitals you will be posted to semester wise department because it's a two years program completely hands on based program and it is completely a pg program so semester 1 you will be into the cardiology wards cardiac icu and emergency semester 2 at stress test and nuclear imaging echocardiography which is very important and semester wise cardiology ward cardiac icu or emergency echocardiography and semester 4 is cardiac cath lab halter and cardiac icu or emergency pediatric cardiology so we have designed the semester wise how hands on training in the premium hospitals so this semester wise it can be sophisticated also based upon the hospitals and what are the hospitals which we have doctor okay so uh, in your chat would you please let me know you are basically from uh, which location the doctors who have been uh, like uh, registered at this webinar so would you let me know you guys like you doctors are from uh, which type of states or locations you are from are you from like of delhi or uh, andhra or bangalore so which type of state you are from chennai okay so what about the other doctors like you are you're basically from which states even if you are doctors you can just chat like based upon your states okay so uh, the reason why i asked is like we have the hospital tamil nadu okay doctor uh, so uh, we have hospitals specifically in these locations uh, what are what are the partner hospitals which we have is like in andhra we have hospitals uh, gujarat we have hospitals and other states like mumbai delhi faridabad gaziabad bangalore kolkata we have hospital but sorry doctors in tamil nadu we are not having hospitals uh, we will seeking to that uh, tamil nadu very soon. Uh, so in Andhra, when you see like we have Ramesh Hospitals, uh, which is in Vijayawada, Ramesh Hospital in Guntur, Usha Cardiac Centre in Vijayawada, Anu Cardiac Centre in Vijayawada, Asta Prime, Eshoda Hospital in Secunderabad, and likewise in Gujarat we have Bankers in Vadodara, Surat, Rhythm in Vadodara, Sterling in Vadodara, and uh, the other state is Metro. We have it in Faridabad, and SSB in Faridabad, Eshoda in Gaziabad, National Heart Institute in Delhi, Kalra in Delhi, Oli Family in Delhi, Trinity in Heart Foundation, Bangalore, Deesan in Kolkata, Bhakti and Medicare in Mumbai. So these are the hospitals like which we have for our program. Uh, so from these particular states, you can choose any hospital. So you can see in these hospitals there are many top hospitals too. And when you see the HODs in these hospitals, Bankers, Usha, Ramesh Hospital, Metro, SSB, National, Ashok, there are experienced DM faculties. and experienced dm faculties are into these hospitals when you are into these hospital a 100 percentage hands on training and they will make you like a cardiac specialist so when you come out of the hospitals and when you started working you'll be working as a clinical cardiologist or non invasive cardiologist in different designation because our student who have pursued from these hospitals right now are into the good career progression they are working in private sectors corporate sector many of the doctors in person they travel to dubai they are working because the job opportunity for the doctors are in high end ranges and this is only two years program doctor after finishing your cardiology after finishing your mbbs make sure if the doctors are trying for the epg examinations if you try two or three times and cardiology is your one of your ambition make sure that you join this program it just takes a two years but it's a lifelong career and this is our students like uh, we have dr uh, sujitra and here ramesh adav and we have many doctors geetesh uh, dr uh, shishma like many doctors who have completed this cardiology and right now they are working with a very good uh, designation and you can see like what our students say about this program who graduated is like they have seen they have given a very good clear vision is a good experiences they have been gathered uh, they have a very good support with the textila 
and they have a very good hands on experiences and a very good faculty support most of the faculties are very friendly also when you are into the pg studies in our respective hospitals and you get a job also after finishing this cardiology program it's 100% sure because all over the country and even in including in india only texel is giving a wonderful opportunity for an mbbs doctors to those you the two years a super specialty cardiology program these respective hospitals and after finishing this particular two years of program and you will be awarded with the certificate also the clinical experience letter also from the respective hospitals so uh, if you have any queries doctor that you want to discuss with me you can just give me a chat box what are the queries or what are the questions you want to ask me which is related to cardiology or any other uh, of your pg career you can message me here so that i can update your queries is that anyone Who wants to like uh, ask me, doctor? Uh, did any partner hospital in Chennai? Uh, no, doctor. Like uh, previously, we was having it in Pondicherry, which is AG Padmavati. But currently, we are not having it in uh, Chennai. But we are searching in Chennai. Uh, so definitely, is there any partner hospital in Chennai uh, for the upcoming year? I will definitely update you. So, is it possible from your? Yeah, Bangalore, we have it. In Bangalore, we have as a Trinity and Heart Foundation. So that is available in Bangalore. It's a very good hospital. The doctors who completed from Trinity and Heart Foundation, from Kerala or from Delhi, many from many location doctors come and pursue in Bangalore. Trinity Heart Foundation under Doctor Murli Dharan is a very good faculty, and you get a very good support from that hospitals, and your life is completely settled, doctor. Okay, in Bangalore we have hospitals. Uh, any other questions, doctor, apart from the partner hospitals? So what we can do is like doctor, like uh, all the doctors like who have attended this webinar, you can just um. message what is your queries with your contact number your whatsapp number with your email id so that our advisor will reach you and they will give you all the necessary details they will share into your whatsapp along with the fee structure along with the stipends and if you want to visit the hospital also they will guide you for the appointment of booking so everything will be done for you so just you can uh, message me your phone number your email id and what is your queries definitely doctor uh after finishing a two years cardiology from any of the hospital which i mentioned you can work in india definitely you can work in india and even if you looking for the abroad countries also like uh, most probably in uh, we are we are not into the partner with the uh, abroad hospitals for tie up but we'll guide for because most of the hospitals they are doing it uh, not like uh, this degree mc approved is like our program is completely super specialty program so this type of fellowship only mt doctors will be pursuing in 2012 and uh, due to this the shortage of cardiology doctors and cardiovascular diseases highly rated we started to offer this uh, same fellowship program or a masters in clinical cardiology program to our mbbs doctors so normally for fellowship recognition is not required at all if you doing a major specialties md internal medicine general surgery dm cardiology recognition is required for this fellowship in clinical cardiology you will be treating the patients through the medicine level so normally for this fellowship recognition is not required and we have many accreditation for this our program so that you can practice very well no issues because our doctors are practicing in all the corporate private sectors with a very good designations and with very good salary also doctor there is no uh, yeah uh, thank you uh, Dr. Kiran, for sharing your uh, email ID with the contact number, definitely uh, our advisor will reach you with all your program details, the fee structure, stipend, and even doctor the other one which I want to update is like uh, there is no MP cardiology doctor because the reason is the cardiology is complete a super specialty program. There is only DNB cardiology or a DM cardiology. So to be a cardiology doctor, the so only MD medicine doctors. can pursue a dm cardiology that is the reason since it's going with a long year of duration we texella started to offer for an mbbs student a fellowship or masters in clinical cardiology so that you can practice as a clinical cardiologist or a non invasive cardiologist in a different designation any other questions doctor so this queries again once more our advisor will contact you personally and they will clarify with the all the details and all the accreditations link also they will share to your whatsapp number yeah thank you dr karthi uh, all the details will be shared to you whatever the queries we asked up to up to date we have an, we have an updated answers with us so all the details will be shared to your whatsapp to your email id and our advisor will contact you personally also and they will clarify all of your doubts any other doctors if you have any queries so that you we can you can just uh, message me here with your queries and your contact number and your email id
Thank you, Dr. Thank you so much, Doctor. So that we can end this particular webinar. And thank you for being here for uh, this much time. Uh, so uh, I'll talk to you personally uh, by contacting you so that we can discuss in detail and I'll make you to guide you for the hospital visit and everything for your career. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Thank you so much. So by this, we will end the session, Raji. Yeah, sure. We can end it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.